Okay, here's an interesting question from Secular Sakai. What are your thoughts on religious atheists, for example, atheopagans, Levan atheistic Satanists, and non-theistic Buddhists who participate seriously in religious activities, but understand the effects of religion on emotions and thought patterns to be psychological or psychosomatic instead of supernatural? Are they preserving cultural traditions or perpetuating irrational practices? This is a very interesting, tough question. I think some Satanists have very interesting ways about which they answer these questions where, yeah, they talk about, it almost seems like they're trying to tap into some sort of placebo effect or maybe some Freudian, Jungian, you know, tapping into the un, uh, like subconscious or unconscious power of symbolism. Um, I remember hearing someone on the atheist experience like call in and talk about this, and frankly, it made little to no sense to me. <laughs> um, Armin, what do you think? I actually encourage this if you because the problem with religion is not the traditions, the problem, I mean, the um, the harmless parts of the traditions, the problem with religion is the belief. Right. We want to encourage people to have um, belief, r beliefs that are closer to reality. Okay. If we, I am against reforming religion, but I am very much in favor of secularizing religion. Okay. The difference being reforming religion means that you keep the beliefs, but you keep the belief in God, you encourage. Um, and you endorse methodologies in coming at truth, such as revelation, faith, right? Um, and superstition, you know, but you try to give it another like moderate look um, as a way to make religion last longer as a defense mechanism. And that's very damaging, right? Um, the conclusions of religion, of the methodology that religion uses is not necessarily the only problem. Uh, it's not even the main problem. The, the, the endorsement of the methodology that results in such problems is actually the main problem, right? So we don't want to reform religion because even if religion comes with better conclusions that we like, those better conclusions are actually very harmful because they're endorsing a methodology that could be extremely harmful to society, right? So reforming religion is not a good idea. Uh, but secularizing religion, is a, I think it's a very good idea. So unlike reform, which keeps the harmful beliefs and methodology, but changes some of the practices, secularization gets rid of the beliefs and keeps the the, some of the harmless tradition where pe people who are emotion people emotionally enjoy or see it as part of their community or ha they have a sense of uh, some attachment to it, right? Because if you do that, you're defanging religion. You're basically suggesting that you could, if 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 we can encourage more people to become atheists, because if the hung up, if the reason a lot of people are not losing their faith in religion is because they have emotionally, emotionally like these traditions or emotionally, emotionally like these communities, then we, we can say, we could show to them by secularizing these practices is that you could maintain these traditions or these communities and give up the belief. You could lose your faith in God and still do these games. So you could still play these games, you know, and I think that would make more atheists because a lot of people think like giving up on their religion means that they can't do these things. And if we communicate to people, you can still do play these games after you lose your faith in God, I think we'll encourage a lot more atheism, right? This is basically what how Christmas it came about, right? Christmas has become very secularized, even though it originates from Christianity. Not mo a lot of people who are celebrating Christmas and participating in its activities do not necessarily believe in the faith, the myth, and the mythology behind it. And they so secularizing these practices, I think, is something very I, that I very much encourage. What do you think? Does that answer the question? Yeah, I agree. I just get a little sketched out by the way some people talk about these practices as if um, like the ritual itself does have some power if it even if it's not supernatural or outside of our material experience that it's like psychological and there are ways in which 
I agree, yes, but the way in which I've seen people talk about it, which may not be comprehensive in terms of how people who participate in these things in general actually believe or experience it, kind of sketches me out. Like sometimes I hear them talk about it in a way where I'm like, mm, that also seems like um, like an unfalsifiable claim. Um, so it, it really depends. It really depends. But in I, in general, if it is just about secularizing, then yeah, I, I agree. Um, Gaijin American gave us five dollars. Thank you, Gaijin American, saying I'd get married at the temple to Hu Tianbao, the Chinese god of gays, <laughs> just as a personal <laughs> fu to the CCP. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. can I can I come to your wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.